Hello, and in this video I am going to be showing you how to install a uh, mod loader, too many items, and Optifine all at the same time. So what you want to be doing first is opening up Minecraft as a Minecraft.jar as a WinRAR file. So you want to download WinRAR, WinRAR, blah, 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 and open it with WinRAR, obviously. Okay, and then you just want to obviously close Minecraft. So you want to delete your Meta folder first. That's really important. Then you want to reinstall in Mod Loader first. So you just want to. Put them in here. Uh, I did just did shortcut keys, by the way, just in case you were wondering how I did that without actually moving them. Uh, I'm doing shortcut keys. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. So anyway, uh, so that's them all installed. And you've seen how simple that was. I'll put the links for these three mods in the description. Because I know some people don't want to be going looking for it. So then, you just want to start Minecraft. And if it goes to Mojang, you've done it properly. And then to test it, you want to... Let's just make a so let's just generate a new world quickly. Yeah, so basically with Optifine it makes everything a lot smoother and you can zoom in if you hold control. Um with mod loader it basically makes all the mods stable. So basically, if you installed Optifine and too many items without Mod Loader, you would have a problem because it would keep crashing. That's not my default skin, by the way. So look, so Optifine's working perfect. Now let's have a look at too many items. So we've installed that properly as well, and that's about it, really. Um, let's get the written book book of not okay. I can't. Oh wait, here I can. Okay, that's weird. Okay, yeah, and th that can work on a server that, that has rank permissions. So you're allowed to use give. That will allow you to use too many items. So that was just a quick installation tutorial on Optifine and too many items. Um, if you want to see more videos of tutorials on how to download things or if you didn't act understand that fully then just post in the comments that you didn't understand it and I will make a step by step video for each mod so there will be one for um, mod loader one for too many items and one for Optifine. Yeah, and the other thing about let me just go through the quick features of what each mod can do. Optifine is basically it makes your frames per second count as high as it can go and it allows you to zoom in. Too many items is completely different. You can put things into the delete, uh, you can turn creative on. Uh, you can turn creative off. Uh, you can make it sunrise. You can make it noon. You can make it night time. And you can make it midnight. You can also change the difficulty. The other thing it allows you to do is spawn every kind of block there is. So let's just keep one of them. Uh, go into creative. So if I have one portal block and I have one stone, for some reason, with the 1.3.2 it doesn't spawn in your second inventory bar which is odd but 
bearable. So if you put that there, okay. I don't need that at all then. So let's just go flint and steel. There you go. Uh, if you're wondering why I built my portal like that, that's just how I like to do it. Uh, I think that cow wants to go into the nether. So it can go if it wants. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you can say if you had uh, uh, 64 pistons, some wool, cobblestone, wooden planks, you can save that as save one. And then if you then get rid of these, and then you open load one, it'll give it you back. So that's good if you're in creative, say you want to have one for redstone, one for glass and building and stuff like that basically. Yeah, um, I think that Optifine works perfectly on multiplayer servers, I'm not actually sure, don't hold me on that one. If it does and I'm just being stupid, then posting the comments that I'm stupid. I can live with it. I can't really, don't do it. Otherwise I'll stop. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that's about it. So the next tutorial will be on, if I can remember what I was going to do it on, it will be on... Oh, I just broke the portal. But I've still got the portal noises. Oh well. Yes, the next video will be on a tech it server called Emerald Wrath. Um, I, I own it, so it's kind of advertising for me at the same time, but a server for you guys at the same time as well. So that will be my next video, and I hope to reading your comments about this video, and then reading your comments about other videos and anything you would like me to talk about or show you about. I'm just going to show you something quickly as well, so let's just save that. Um, I've also got a site where I will be posting where if I need people to help me build for a video, if I need people to help me um, record and stuff like that. I'll be posting it here. Uh, this will the link for this will be in the description as well. You just want to come here, go to forms, and then there should be something there that would say ideas. You'd create your idea, and I would reply with chosen and declined. And if I said decline, I'd s I would say why I have declined it. So this will be in the description, and it will be an annotation all the way through. So will these three. And I hope to see you on my website joining up and saying what you think. See you later guys.